keep going. You're in deep snow. I'm in traction control. Oh. We're done. So the adventure you're watching today took place January 24th, 2021. It's in the same general region, close. Not gonna give too much details because I don't want anybody going there. We decided to take the day, take a nice leisure drive up, put on some snowshoes and go get some cameras that we had left out there. And it turned into a little bit more than we expected. The area that we're going it's very remote. The uh, The only people that would go there in the winter time is like a four-wheel drive club, usually little Jeep Wranglers. They all get together and have a little safari. And that's the trail that is broke, is Jeep Wrangler width. So my truck is very wide. It's got, it's, it's super wide. It's like eight inches wider than a Toyota Tacoma, which I think is a little bit wider than a Wrangler. So here is a diagram. This here is the earth and the road. Up here we have snow. Uh, it's about four feet deep on the side because there's always a ditch on each side. And we have a broke trail and that is Wrangler width here to here. For my truck, if I were to put one tire in one rut, I would be eight inches outside of the other one. And what happens is when you hit these snow drifts, you can easily get sucked off. The truck weighs 8,700 pounds with two grown men in it. Hard, packed, deep, frozen snow that will take a long time to dig out. So that was the challenge of this trip. So this will make more sense once the video starts. So we're, we got this ice pond here. And this is we got a drive through. Hopefully we made it to get a good head start on that patch of dirt and just hit it. And I don't know if we'll break through. It's 20, oh, it's up to 25 degrees right now, but a few minutes ago it was only 10 degrees. Traction control. Oh, we're done. <laughs> Traction control was on. God damn. <laughs> All right, let's get defrost. Get defrost going. <laughs> so we did break through big time, and I accidentally didn't turn traction control off, and we lost momentum. I got stuck going up this little hill. Snow drift here. So I gotta somehow hug this left side and try not to get, see how I got pulled over. Now we may have met our, our match. We've gone through two areas just like this. Keep in mind we've got about a, well, 18, 20 inch snow drift here. And no one's been through here in a while. This area in the middle is solid. And my truck, if it gets pulled into this, will break through here, but won't plow through it. We've got drifted snow. And we're getting into some really remote areas where people haven't obviously been in a long time. And if I get pulled off, we're done. We're just digging for hours. the track though significantly all right this is this is it the last challenge I think we can make it since we don't have ice we do have some pretty deep ruts here and right there it gets bare and clear I think we're gonna do it we got trees to winch to and we've got gravity to help pull us backwards 
and I can put the winch in the rear of the truck. This drives normal through this one. Take the left. You don't want to fall into those yeah. side. Say it's close to the center. Yeah, carry a little bit. We have to make it back up. Just remember that. So far, we have done a lot. Oh, stop. Back it up. <clears throat> Try not to gun it to where you're going off track. Try and <clears throat> just keep oh, your momentum. Man, I got way off track yeah. there. <clears throat> Look how much you push there, too. Yeah. Way off. Well, Jesus. It gets pretty slipped. deep at the end there. Someone slipped through. Don't go too fast, Ruby. You're just gonna go off. Coast. There you go. Yeah, that's. Yeah, there you go. This one, this one looks like it could have been. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Pretty good drift. Well, we thought those were the last, but they're definitely not. We got a few more to deal with. Okay, that one is... Should we walk this one again? Yeah, let's walk it. All right, we're almost close enough where we can just start hiking from where the truck is, but ideally not. Potentially build more momentum right here. And it looks like some people got hung up in here if I don't drift off to the left. I think we're gonna do it. Someone got off. See, they overshot. Went right off her into here. Some of the same thing way over there. Our goal is to stay right here in the middle. I'll just go up. Because this, this first section where it flattens out, we can back down. Yeah. I'm gonna get my head out the window, see if I can maintain the clutch. Next one, keep just enough speed up and make sure you absolutely make it. drifting a little bit. Let's we are. Now. I agree. This is the section I'm worried about. This is the section where we can't do what we just did, I no. don't think. But you don't need a bomb it either. Like we somewhere a, in between. Let me just break a track in. And then I can always just quick stop and back up and restart. Yeah. Well, see, there's traction. It's not a super slick snow. Wow. Careful, your back's starting to go out. Wow. There you go. You just yeah. crawled through that. So we just tried this hill with medium to low amount of momentum. Just try not to get too much momentum to go flying off and get stuck. And we made it three quarters of the way up. So I'm gonna try it again with a little bit more speed and see what happens. And now I have to hike it again. Well, we are very, very close to our destination, although it's taken us three times as long to get here. And this might be the last challenge. We keep saying that, and we find another one and another one. I'm not sure if the camera will pick up the depth perception of how messed up this little snow drift is here. It's about 70 yards long, and there's no real track through it. It seems like everybody who came through here got all sideways. We're going to creep through it a little bit at a time, 
Uh, the reason we think we can get through it is it's not a hill climb and that the side hill is very slight and there's no ice. But that heavy truck could decide to plow through this instead of riding on top of it. I thought about airing down and that's about it. I've thought about it. And it's, it's kind of weird. You think like this stretch here, you're out of the woods and it's the part that gives you the most trouble. Even though we're a slight side hill here, doesn't take much and that is deep. That's probably three to four feet deep right there. Um, we have some trees to winch off of. It doesn't take much to winch out of snow, especially when you're on flat ground. It's just to get you back up out of your hole. It's not like we're climbing over rocks or anything. This gets steep up here. Like a steep climb? Yeah. It turns to the left and then gets steep. So I don't know if we want to mess with that or not. It's up to you. It levels off pretty quick though. Might be deep. Trying to hold the camera steady. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're really proud of that one. <laughs> ah, that's the driving skill. To know when yeah. to punch it, when to let off. Sounds like it should be a country song. Know when to punch it. Do not be singing that camera. <laughs> you can edit it out. Oh, now the creek's down at the bottom where it gets narrow. Yeah, that's... I'm worried about a drift there, for sure. Right. Hey, we... We made it. We made it out into the middle of nowhere. It's one of the most remote places in the world. And it'd be weeks before the next person was brave enough to come through here. But we decided to finally stop driving as there are some pretty serious drifts. We probably could make it after what we've been through already. But uh, I'm gonna probably have to cut the audio because it's pretty windy out here. Just show you the scenery and show you where we put our cameras. It's, this set of cameras is supposedly in a migration corridor. Uh, we're expecting to see activity uh, early November at the earliest. So did our cameras save the battery from August all the way to November? Probably not. But uh, we're going to go see what we see.